Hello everyone, welcome back, my name is Triplus once again and today we'll be taking a look at another RetroPie related topic. So in my last video I showed you how to launch Kodi on boot with your RetroPie but this time we'll be looking at something a little bit different which is how to actually install Kodi and display it between your other systems as I had in my previous video. Um, in the meantime I have installed another image on my Raspberry and uh, so my uh, RetroPie installation is gone, but of course um, I have another SD card here so I will be installing a completely fresh installation of RetroPie and I will be guiding you through this. So my last video got a lot of views and some likes so I'm really happy with that. I hope you guys are enjoying some of my tutorial videos again and uh, let's get started and I hope you like this video too. <laughs> so. The first thing you have to do is go to the retropie.org.uk site, click on download and then you will have a choice. So if you have an old Raspberry, you choose Raspberry Pi 0 or 1 and if you have a new Raspberry, of course you choose 2 and 3. I have an old one and I already downloaded the image. So on my desktop, uh, ignore this for a while, you just extract the RetroPie image. So this is the, the image. Okay, yeah, I have a Raspberry Pi 1 and then also for Raspberry Zero, this is uh, the image you're looking for. So once it is extracted, and there we go, you basically need two tools. You need Win32 Disk Imager and SD Formatter. Uh, you first take SD Formatter to reformat your drive. So, um, well, le let me restart the tool itself. Um, there we go. So... You can choose your label, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the F drive, uh, as you can see here. Um, it's empty, I already emptied it. So, But in options, you choose adjustment size on. You click OK and you click format. This is like a two second job. There we go, it's done. Then the next thing you do is choose this file. You can drag it, unfortunately. So you go to uh, your computer, your C drive, uh, I actually think uh, this is faster. So there we go, you open this and you write uh, to this one, so choose yes. And this will take a while, so what I'm going to do here is let this run, plug the um, SD card in my Raspberry and I'll see you once I start my Raspberry. Um, important to note, when you are going to set this up, you will need a controller or a keyboard to set up um, uh, to set up your Raspberry and um, a screen with, with an HDMI, ca HDMI cable connected. So I will see you once you have that set up. Be right back. Okay, before we jump over to our uh, Raspberry Pi, I quickly want to give you another uh, tip, basically. So once you have finished writing your image, as you can see here, it's important, well, not really important, but useful. Once you realize that you don't have any... Uh, well, image on your screen when you connect to Raspberry, you can edit the config file in your uh, folder that you just wrote or on your drive you just wrote and uncomment some lines. So HDMI save can be uncommented, HDMI uh, force hot plug can be uncommented and the config HDMI boost can be uncommented. If you want, you can also do some additional uncommands of uh, example overscan and such but I will ignore this for now because I don't really need this. So let's jump over to our Raspberry Pi now, shall we? Okay guys, so we have launched into the RetroPie menu. Um, this is basically the first time you launch RetroPie, you will, uh, well, you will get this screen. So before this, some uh, background configuration and uh, initialization took place, but you can ignore that. Hopefully everything should have gone well. If it didn't, reformat your uh, SD card and rewrite your, uh, well, your image. So we have here, uh, as you can see, uh, no gamespad detected. You just press a button. I have a keyboard um, connected because I will have to type the Wi-Fi password. But if you have Ethernet connected, you shouldn't need uh, the keyboard. So press a button, oh, hold a button, I'm sorry. Uh, as you can see, keyboard. So um, up down left right um let's take this start select a b and then i don't think we would need anything else so you just can hold um a button to skip anything so just 
quickly skip through all this. Um, fortunately, there's no other way to uh, to speed this thing up. But uh, A and B should be sufficient, I hope. Um, else we're gonna get, uh, well, we're gonna have some issues. But I'm pretty sure you only need the A and the B button. Um, so we're almost there. I have to hold it longer. Okay. Um, didn't I just... Uh, okay, there we go. Um, I was too quick. So um, we are in our uh, RetroPie menu. So in case you don't start here, because I can't remember I should start here, but um, you can just scroll through your systems with... Uh, it should be left and right. Either my Raspberry is really slow or... Uh, oh, only RetroPie is here. Okay, doesn't matter. So for me, only RetroPie is here. Um, the first thing you have to do is go configure your Wi-Fi. Uh, it's the bottom one. If you have Ethernet, you don't need to do this, of course. But um, let's configure uh, configure Wi-Fi real quick. Um, I don't think you can see the, the whole screen, but as I already said, I'm uh, recording this with my phone. So um, let's connect to the... Okay. So we have a simple keyboard here, so this is Linux, so enter is selecting things and uh, not the other way around. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see if this was the correct password. Okay, there we go. We are connected now. Uh, we have, uh, as you can see, the current IP is uh, is ending in dot one dot two. So remember this one dot uh, dot one dot two. You can see this later if you want. Press cancel to go back back to your RetroPie. And here, then you can install uh, any recipe config. You should of do should of course do the uh, the, the setup like uh, expand your file system, configure the time, and so on. But for the rest, we should uh, have everything. So now on to installing Kodi. So people, uh, I had some issues with people who didn't realize they didn't have installed Kodi. So this is how you do it. RetroPie setup. Um, oh yeah, I have to press A again, not enter. Uh, that's uh, the issue with switching between Linux and, uh, and RetroPie the whole time. Sometimes it's enter, sometimes it's uh, A and, and uh, back and forth. So, Let's wait for this to run. As I already said, um, I am using um, a Raspberry Pi 1. Uh, I don't think it's overclocked by default. I'm not sure, maybe the RetroPie image does that a little bit, but it's basically the standard version, so everything is a little bit slower than when you would have a Raspberry Pi 3. 3. Um, so here you should be able to choose um, Let's see, I think it's in uh, Manage Packages. Previously was in Experimental Packages, but in RetroPie 4.0 it apparently moved to Optional Packages. So here you go to Kodi, which is pretty much all the way down. So 307, press OK, install from binary, and now you wait. So basically this is, um, I think it will be close to a uh, 10 minute wait. I'm not sure, but that's what I read uh, last time I did anything. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes when the, the first screen that pops up um, is visible. Be right back. Okay guys, so uh, it took about 7 minutes I think for me, which is, um, well, is okay I guess. Um, now go back to your uh, uh, RetroPie installation itself by clicking back or exit, whatever. I guess if you go back, uh, if I remember correctly now, um, you should restart your, uh, well, your emulation station. So go to your settings, hit quit, and then uh, restart emulation station. Yes. So this will take a, a little while. Um, what I find weird is that in uh, emulation station 3, you actually got a lot of uh, systems already pre-installed. Oh, there we go. Okay, I basically have to reinstall it. 
but I only have two, but it doesn't matter. So ports is where you can fight Cody right now. So if you open this, you have Cody. Um, for people who find this fine, well, find this fine. <laughs> you can basically just open Cody from here and that's it. No issues anymore. So just launch it. It will take a while. Um, like I said, I'm on a Raspberry Pi 1 or Raspberry Pi B+. Plus. Um, so it's a little slower. I've read that the Raspberry Pi 3 is like 10 times faster than this thing here. Um, but it works, you know, uh, but I wouldn't recommend using Kodi for this uh, because Kodi is fairly slow on this device. Um, but here you go, you have Kodi, everything works. Um, but let's, uh, let's exit this. Um, apparently the control and shift do not work in here. So let's see if we can navigate with our, okay, there we go. Uh, select it. Uh, okay, the controls are uh, being a little weird, uh, but anyway, so, um, well, you just launched Kodi, but for the people who actually want to have Kodi as its separate system, so you saw RetroPie ports, and then if you want, um, if you want Kodi right there, you should watch the, well, the next few minutes of this video. What we'll be doing uh, requires either you pressing F4 once you're in an emulation station to shut down emulation station and go to the console or open a putty and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I see you guys uh, back on my desktop. Be right back. Okay guys, now that we are in putty, um, let's enter the IP address we saw earlier. So for me it's this one, if I remember correctly. So open. You click yes here and you can log in as spy and password is raspberry so yeah there we go so we get um, a login screen it is changed last time this was an actual raspberry anyway so what we should do now is basically display it in on this page so i will put it in the description but if you google Kodi as its own system it works too so Basically what we're going to do is just copy paste code here. Um, it's useful if you understand the code. I will try explain this, but it should work. So what we're doing here is basically um, uh, 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 create another, uh, well, systems. So systems is basically where you uh, configure what uh, systems, so ports, uh, RetroPie, PlayStation or PSX. Uh, whatever is displayed. So you just control C here and then right click in your putty window and then nano is basically text editor So we're going to edit this file as you can see uh, Here are all the files uh, somewhere in here port should be so here is GBC Game Boy Color above is Game Boy Advance whatever just scroll down uh, all the way till the end uh, I think you can even control V for a uh, next page all the time and then you position yourself over here press space twice or you don't even need to press space twice because this is already with the spaces included right click let it paste in and then control o so to write it enter control x to exit so you have additional system now so now you will want to create a uh, a ROM so where you will store your ROMs but Kodi is not a ROM but that's, this is how RetroPie, uh, yeah, RetroPie works so you create a directory for that you create a script to launch Kodi and then in that script um, you do this Kodi standalone if you run this uh, from uh, your uh, if, if you press F4 on your RetroPie itself, you go to the console and if you press, uh, if you run Kodi standalone there, it will start Kodi. So Control O, Control X to save the file, then make it executable using this. And uh, well, there we go. So it's fairly easy to do this. Um, I think uh, this is sufficient, so you don't need anything else. And let's jump back to the Raspberry, shall we? Okay guys, so I've just rebooted my Raspberry Pi after the changes we just made. Remember, I rebooted it. If you don't see Kodi, you probably haven't rebooted it. But, ta-da, there we have Kodi. 
So, um, well, this is basically what I had. I made some configurations or, well, in, in the default skin, you have uh, Kodi already uh, visible as a system, so they're easily out. And if you open it, well, you have Kodi. If you use a, a custom skin or someone else's skin, it is possible, possible you will have to dive into some uh, ma well, makeup or layout uh, related topics uh, to make this a little bit more pretty, else you will just have black uh, boxes or white boxes, I can't remember. But uh, anyway, so as you get, as you just saw, we have Kodi just as its own system and you can launch it from here. So it's no longer in the ports. Uh, well, I guess this is uh, what you guys uh, had asked for. So this shows exactly how to set up uh, Kodi in RetroPie. Um, and if you want to auto launch Kodi instead of RetroPie, um, well, check out my other video that I uploaded previously. Um, I hope this was a video you guys were hoping for uh, to explain a little bit more regarding Kodi and RetroPie, especially RetroPie uh, 4, because apparently there were some small changes. I didn't even know it myself, but once you've done it, it's probably easier the next few times. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And I hope to see you guys in another video. And if you have any other questions regarding RetroPie, Kodi, or any other topic that you hope I know something about, feel free to comment on this video or any other video. And I see you guys again next time. Have a great day. Bye.